Let's talk about equipment conditions that can cause a belt to mistrack or some of the things you have. One of the most overlooked reasons why a belt mistracks is because of improper splicing and improper belt storage. So the photo on the left, photo one, is an example of what we call a pretty square splice. A lot of facilities, if they're squaring, when they go to cut a belt, if you square off this edge, let's say you set a framing square off that edge, that's not, a, that's assume that's a 90 degree angle. If you were to set a framing square off this edge, or this edge, those edges may not be straight. It's not uncommon for those edges of a belt to be cut and therefore they might have a little bit of a wave to them. So if you're using the edge of the belt to get a square cut to the belt, you'll have what's called a crooked splice. And you can identify a crooked splice. If you go to say a tail pulley, and you watch that belt, watch that belt, watch that belt, watch that belt, and then all of a sudden that splice comes through. And you see that all of a sudden that belt jump very quickly to one side and jump back. That's a crooked splice. That happens because they've squared off this edge of the belt. What you need to do is create it, what's called an average center line by measuring half the distance from each side of the belt, striking marks, and then connecting those marks that you've created with a chalk line, that's giving you your average center line square off of that. Okay, another concern that you should be thinking about is stand at the tail pulley and watch that belt. And if it slowly walks, slowly walks, slowly walks, and then slowly walks back, that's a little bit different. That's called camber. Belt slowly walks to one side and then eventually comes back. What you're seeing here is a curvature in that belt. So if you were to roll that belt out straight, you would want this line from edge to edge to not deviate more than about one inch per 100 feet. If that belt were to deviate more than one inch per 100 feet in length, that belt has camber. What camber is, it's a stretch on one side of the belt, but not the other that can cause the belt to mistrack. And that camber comes from storing the belt improperly. So it's really important that you store belts on a rack like you see in the photo below. What we don't wanna do is store a belt on the ground like this. We store a belt on the ground like you see in this photo. Here's the ground. Here's my belt. All the weight is on one side of the belt. And that's damaging that carcass on that side that creates a elongation to one side of the belt, causing the belt to mistrack.